Hey guys, Jason Scudelaire here with Classic Truck Performance and behind us is our Project F100. We've done quite a few things to it, but the last video we did, we put the 200R4 transmission in there and we finally got to a point where I couldn't go any further because of the way the throttle linkage was, um, the exhaust had to be done, so we got that all finished up, but now we went out to low car and we got a proper pedal and cable. That way we can get all the linkage hooked up right, including that TV cable. That's one thing you don't want to mess around with. If you don't have proper line pressure, you'll burn your transmission up. So the whole goal today is get everything installed, get the car to shift, get it on the road, have some fun. To do this right, the TV cable needs to be down here. That way when you're giving it throttle, it's pulling on that, giving the transmission line pressure. Well, the way the Ford set this up is it's a push system. It's pushing the throttle open instead of pulling it. So we're gonna get rid of all this craziness here and just put a nice little cast pedal in there with a the cable and uh, we'll come to the top right here with the uh, cable and then we can actually properly mount our TV cable. So let's remove all this old stuff because we don't need it. Okay. There you go. All right, out with that old stuff. Now let's go inside the truck and get the rest of the, the throttle out. All right, now it's funny as I look in here, this pedal, seen better days, the casting broke on it and uh, I didn't even notice it when I was driving it before. There we go. That's the old pedal. So. Okay. I need something to go through here to mark it. Um, so the cool thing about this pedal, one, it's really nice, but you can adjust this so if you don't have enough uh, throw on it, you can bring it back, bring this lever forward or backward. Um, just all depends on where you need it. So what we know how to do is find a good location for it. But we also got to remember we're working with stuff up here. Right here is where the tunnel kicks out and we don't want that on the tunnel area. I'm thinking something like that would look pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this a little bit more. It's pretty easy. The, the arms are on splines. Then you can just take this off and it's on splines. So I just wanna bring it out like this a little more. Find that sweet spot. There you go. And if it's too much, we'll just go back and bring it in. But I think that's a good starting spot. This is our cable. It's gonna be coming from the engine side in like this, but we want this hole to line up perfectly with this hole. That way your cable action is super smooth. If not, over time, if it's off, it will start chafing into here, which one isn't good, but two could get very dangerous because if it chafes in there enough, it could actually uh, stick. So just make sure you take your time, mark it and drill it centered and you'll be good to go. I mark each side of the throttle like that. And then I mark where the hole is right there. That's pretty good. That. Um, let me see what else I got. What if I just try one of these smaller drill guns? You know, I'm gonna try a smaller drill gun with a. I know, I'll try. Two speed. There we go. All right. Let's see, I went to the second spot. Should be about a quarter. Uh, let's see. Actually, five sixteenths. I'm gonna go ahead and trim some of this off. That way. We don't need that, many, that much thread, and all that's gonna do is uh, not allow the pedal to go closer to the firewall. I like to put this on here, then I'll trim it. <laughs> then as I pull that off, it cleans the threads. I'm gonna bring it over to my Burr King though real quick and clean it a little nicer. Just want the cable sticking. There we go, that looks nice. All right, so what we're gonna do, we gotta get the cable cut to length. To show you how far that goes in there, it's got this little sleeve that will slide over it once you're done. And then it'll go into here like that. So, so you know where to trim it. Go. Okay. 
there's that. Put the. There you go. Okay. Feels nice and smooth. Awesome. That came off nicely. We're going to put the kick down or the TV cable. All right. There, pops into place. Now, to set this properly, what you're going to do is wide open throttle. And then you're going to pull the TV cable out. It's kind of hard to do by yourself, but I got it like that. Okay, you don't do that properly. You lose line pressure or low pressure and you will uh, burn out the transmission. Right there. Man, that cut nice. There you go. Okay, don't forget to put your return springs back on. There. Stay out here and I'll go back. I'll go in there and see if it works. All right, go ahead and put our drive shaft in. We had this made up. Perfect. Just like it should. We got this kit right here. It's a GM shift linkage. Hopefully this will get us from our transmission up to our stock column, which we're gonna use right now. And uh, yeah, let's go for it. So we'll go ahead and put the spline. So this has splines on it. That way you can clock this however you need to. Kind of just like our uh, throttle pedal. There you go. There's park, just double check. Park it is. I may want even to go up more. Again, we're just gonna have to fine tune it. So let's get the truck down because I gotta figure out which one of those. This used to be a three on the tree uh, truck. So the column actually is three on the tree. But I think we can get this to work. Um, until we upgrade to a different column. This rod in just threads on, I'm gonna stick it in the middle, that way I still have adjustment bo uh, both back and forth on there. Um, and then this one, once you get your rod to cut to length, will slide over, lock down the set screws and you'll have it there, but it also has a little bit of adjustment in it too. All right, let's see what that does underneath. Okay, we're gonna put a bend about right here in it. Something like that. Talking about luck, I'll take it. Wow, that was awesome. Go ahead and mark it right there. good, nothing's hitting, nothing's rubbing, it's super smooth. I like it. <sighs> what do we gotta do next? We gotta fill the transmission up with oil, drive shaft's done, throttle's done, TV cable's done, and now our shift linkage is done, so let's put some oil in the transmission. I've already filled up the converter before I installed it, so we'll put four quarts in, fire it up. Um, it's probably gonna take another four after that, but we'll check it as we go. All right, that's four. Go ahead and start it up, see what happens, and we'll check it. All right, let's see if we can get this thing to move under its own power. All right, let's go outside. We're gonna check the trans fluid again so I can let it run a little bit. Now well, let's hope it shifts. Here we go. First, second. Oh yeah, third gear. Look at that. I don't need no gear. Let's make sure that's neutral. Yep, okay. Take it out of overdrive. Now we're in third. TV cable's working great. It just downshifted. Wow, that feels good. Got a half tank of gas, man. We can go somewhere. So that's not too bad, you know. Uh, 
Days work, eh, a couple days work since we waited for some parts and we had to change out a few things like the throttle and uh, the linkage, got, got rid of all that old throttle linkage which was no good for what we were doing. But now I feel good because the car, the truck's downshifting like it should. Um, you know, so we've done AC in this thing. Now we got an overdrive transmission, no more three on the tree. It's getting more and more comfortable to drive. Um, we do have some more things coming up. I think the next thing we're gonna do is a tilt column with power steering. That will uh, definitely help us out. Uh, one, we're gonna have quick, a quicker steering ratio, and two, we'll have power steering. But man, I couldn't be happy with this. So again, you know, we went with the 204R transmission from Phoenix Automatic Transmissions, and man, it's nice to drive. So we just finished installing that 204R transmission into our F100, and boy, am I happy. The thing was smooth, no more shifting, no more three in the tree, no more clutch. We got AC, and we got an automatic transmission. A couple things that helped me out with that transmission are uh, some of Harbor Freight's tools. I'd like to talk about their ratcheting wrenches. Uh, here's our full length ones, here's our stubby ones. The gearing's really precise and smooth. Um, do both reverse and forward on them or flip them. They got the little bit of an angle on them so for those hard to reach places. So I really, really did like the wrenches. And then of course I had one hole underneath the dash that the 20 volt uh, drill from Harbor Freight just couldn't get in there a little too big. So went to the 12 volt. This is the Hercules line. Um, use a unibit in there. And it actually, very lightweight, very small, easy to get on the dash, drill that hole. So if you wanna learn more about this build and others, go to classictruckperformance.com.